Ten Secrets You Should Know About Victoria's Secret. Victoria's Secret is a global phenomenon. It's the biggest and the most popular lingerie brand in the world. Its fashion show is legendary, attracting an audience of millions each year. Victoria's Secret started out with eye-catching lingerie, bras, and underwear, then expanded its range to include colorful loungewear, swimwear, and activewear. Their new collections are previewed annually at Victoria's Secret Show, which has become synonymous with glamour, glitz, and of course, the gorgeous angels. Even though Victoria's Secret is extremely popular, there may still be a few things you don't know about this amazing brand. So here are 10 secrets you should know about Victoria's Secret. Number 1. There's no Victoria Who is Victoria and what's her secret? Many of you may wonder who Victoria actually is. Is she the founder of Victoria's Secret or what? We want to let you down gently and brace you for the truth, but there is no Victoria. The name Victoria was originally chosen because it was felt to capture the feeling of sophistication and elegance of the women during the Victorian era. So what's the secret? It's called a secret because lingerie is something women wear under their clothing so no one can see it and nobody knows what it looks like, hence it's a secret. Victoria's Secret was actually founded by a man called Roy Raymond in 1977. The business didn't do too well at the start, so the founder sold it to the current owner, Les Wexner. The company was sold for $1 million in 1982. Under Les Wexner's direction, Victoria's Secret grew exponentially and has become the iconic fashion brand we know and love today. Number 2. Its target market is actually men According to its founder, Victoria's Secret was actually intended for men. You won't see any products for men in Victoria's Secret store, so how can it be targeting men? The truth is, Roy Raymond wanted to create a retail experience for men looking to buy a special gift for their wife or girlfriend. Buying lingerie or underwear for women can be a daunting experience for men. Understanding this, Roy Raymond decided to create a place where men would feel comfortable buying lingerie for their special lady. That's why the typical design and the layout of the stores are not overtly feminine. They're painted black and pink to represent elegance and mysteriousness. The stores are easy to spot. When you go to the mall, you'll notice that a lot of the other stores are bright and full of color. Not only does it look different, but Victoria's Secret stores also have a unique aroma that can't be explained. It's sexy, seductive, and appeals to both men and women. Number 3. The employees are all bra-fitting specialists If you go to a Victoria's Secret store, chances are the employees you meet will already know what fits you without you having to ask. The clientele of Victoria's Secret is very diverse. The staff are all trained to help anyone coming to the store to get the perfect fit. They know precisely what you need and what will feel comfortable for your size. Every bra fitting specialist undergoes a six-week training program before they're ready to help out on the shop floor. They've been briefed, no pun intended, in every possible scenario. That said, Victoria's Secret doesn't cater to every body type. In fact, the size options are fairly limited. If you're not standard, you may struggle. The good thing is, Victoria's Secret employees may tactfully suggest a different store if they don't have your particular size. They genuinely want everyone to get the right fit, even if it's not in one of their products. There's another unusual fact about Victoria's Secret. It's a company policy that their employees can't apprehend a shoplifter. Even if they see it happening in front of them, they're told not to confront the thief. Number 4. 90-Day Return Policy Sadly, not many people know this. Every Victoria's Secret store will offer a full refund if you return the items you've bought within 90 days as long as you still have the receipt. Not many brands are quite so generous with their refund policies. In 90 days, many things can change. You can gain or lose a lot of weight. If that happens, you can get a refund or replace the items you bought with something new. 
If your lingerie or underwear doesn't fit anymore, you don't have to leave it in your wardrobe. Just bring it back to the store where you bought it and you'll get a full refund to buy something that does. It's pretty risky, but Victoria's Secret does it for maximum customer satisfaction and increased brand loyalty. We think more and more brands should follow suit. Number 5. The Fantasy Bra Certainly, the most insane products Victoria's Secret has ever made have been the fantasy bras. Only two were made. Heidi Klum had the honor of wearing the second most expensive fantasy bra. It featured a 70-carat diamond and cost a cool $11 million. But if that wasn't crazy enough, the most expensive fantasy bra ever created was worn by Giselle Bundchen in 2005. There were 2,900 diamonds, rubies, set in white gold with 101 carat diamond centerpiece. It was called the Sexy Splendor Fantasy Bra and cost, wait for it, a whopping $12.5 million. Before every fashion show, Victoria's Secret usually signs a deal with a renowned jewelry designer to craft a premium bra. The bra will be used as the focal point for the show and as the centerpiece. One lucky angel will be chosen to wear that special bra. Despite its popularity, this product doesn't actually sell very well on the market. Hardly anyone buys it because it's not practical underwear for most people. Number 6. There are angels from every continent Did you know that Victoria's angels come from every continent? Victoria's Secret has some of the most diverse models from every part of the world. This is amazing because not many brands offer that kind of diversity, and certainly back in the early 90s, it was almost unheard of. Victoria's Secret has committed to bringing more diversity to its brand and fashion shows since the beginning. However, the only continent that isn't yet represented is Antarctica. We don't know the exact reason why, but it's probably because there aren't too many lingerie models from that part of the world. No doubt, if there is a talent waiting to be discovered in Antarctica, the VS team will find them and soon have them sporting the famous angel's wings on the catwalk. We also hope that someday they will cast more models of different shapes and sizes. Number 7. Two Shows Every Year If you think Victoria's Secret shows are only held for one day, you're completely wrong. What you see on TV is actually two separate shows. Victoria's Secret usually holds two fashion shows every year. The show is filmed twice. They have to make sure everything looks perfect. The only way to get the best possible show is by taping two identical shows and mixing the two to get various angles. It makes sense because it can be hard to get the perfect shot in just one take. Not to mention that sometimes the models can encounter technical difficulties. Number 8. Full Body Makeup Yes, we already know that Victoria's Secret Angels are stunningly gorgeous. That's why they get hired in the first place. But to make them even more flawless, full body makeup is applied to all the models during the fashion shows. Everything looks perfect from head to toe because the models get touched up with makeup before getting dressed. The models usually spend hours in the makeup chair before the show. They have to make sure that their skin looks the absolute best. Victoria's fragrance lotion is applied to each girl and they may also use some spray tan to make their skin look radiant and shiny. Number 9. The Model's Strict Diet It's fairly obvious, but in case you didn't know, we'll tell you about this anyway. This is the key to the perfect lean body every Victoria's Secret Angel has. Sure, they're all blessed with good genes, but it takes more than just genetics to keep an angel looking amazing. All the angels have to work hard to stay in shape and maintain their bodies. If you don't believe us, take a look at our videos of workout tips and routines by some of our favorite Victoria's Secret angels and models. Months before a show, all the angels will follow a very strict diet and intense workout program. They have to be in the most prime condition for the show. It takes a lot of effort and dedication to be a Victoria's Secret model. The VS Angel diet usually consists of a high protein with low carbohydrate and fat intake. The goal is to look lean and toned. Exercise will include cardio, weightlifting, resistance training, as well as kickboxing. The overall objective is to increase strength and endurance. Number 10. Whopping Salary 
It's no secret that a Victoria's Secret angel earns a lot of money. It's difficult to imagine, or indeed believe, but for just one day's work on a Victoria's Secret fashion show, an angel can make up to $100,000. That's equivalent to the annual salary of most models in the US today. It sort of makes sense because they have to prepare for the show months in advance, and it takes total dedication and commitment that not everyone is willing to give.